Lufthavn for at hente Sir Cliff Richards, og det ser det ud til, at der også er andre, der er. Han er i landet for at promovere sin nyeste CD, der hedder Something's Going On. Fra Lufthavn går turen direkte, eller næsten direkte, videre til Lorry. Her skal Sir Cliff Richard være med i TV2 Charlies Twist and Shout Special med en god gammel ven, nemlig Jørgen Demilius. Have you discussed what you're going to talk about yet? Cliff's whole life. Yeah. In one hour. In one hour. That's going to be difficult. I think if we're going to do my life, we better do a series. Yeah. <laughs> one to one hundred. Yeah. Okay, you're going to get ready now, yes, and uh, we'll see you afterwards. You never change, or very, very rarely change. I can see you have got some uh, presents here from your fans. You have a lot of fans all over the world. But in Denmark especially. Yeah. Oh yeah, Denmark. Yeah. There are there are three places where I've always had great success. Uh, year after year after year. Denmark is one of those places. New Zealand in, on the other side of the world. Yeah. And of course in Britain. Yeah. And uh, it's, so Denmark's got a very special place in my heart. Do you ever recognize any of your fans? Yeah, nearly all of them. <laughs> yeah, I recognize many of them. Of course, when I came to the airport, I saw a few faces I knew. So Cliff okay, Richards day a lang far over. Både Lorry og BT skal snakke med ham. Og så er der lige fansene igen, som prøver at få det sidste glimt af deres store idol. På hotellet byder direktøren velkommen, inden der er tid til en kort pause. For så er det ekstra bladets tur. Derefter skal han videre til endnu to interviews, så der er kun tid til at snakke med ham på vej ned til bilen. In 2008, you have a 50 years anniversary. Yeah, have you anything yeah. planned there? Uh, no, not yet, but I guess I should do something. I should do yeah. some big concerts or something and just celebrate 50 years. I'm, I'm not sure how many people are ahead of me who have done 50 years where they've where their career has continued. Mm. I've never really stopped. Sometimes people stop and they make a comeback, but I've never really stopped. So mm. I think that should be something special. <laughs> Are you ever going to stop? <laughs> well, I may have to one day. Yeah. If my voice disappears, I'll stop. But because I, I don't want to lose any dignity, I want to finish nicely. And <coughs> I've got a lot of fans and I, I'll keep going. Mm. If I can keep singing and they want to come to the concert, I'll be happy to do the concerts till I die. Is there still one award you haven't got? No, I, well, it's not awards so much. I mean, I, li I like the idea that my records have sold many times over the years, and the one place, the big award would be to have a successful album in America. Yes, yeah, really? Yeah, I'd like that. I've never had one. I've had some singles that are successful, but no albums. Yeah. And uh, maybe this album will give me my, my one chance. I only need one chance. I can grab it. <laughs> well, you're going further now, and then... Uh... Ja, yeah, we'll see you later. Okay, okay thank you. Okay. Endelig ser det ud til, at dagen er ved at være slut. So how are you after all these interviews? Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tough still. Uh, sometimes in my head it goes a little bit uh, strange. In my body I'm fine. Yeah. But sometimes if you're speaking about the same thing all day, uh, what we said, your, your brain becomes a little loose. <laughs> so now I'm looking, I'm looking forward to a really nice meal yeah. and a good night's sleep. Have a nice evening. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.